Hi, Pastor Billy Burke here. Welcome to Your Word for today. We got so much feedback. I don't know if you want to call it good feedback and controversial feedback on my last Your Word for today just a few days ago when we talked about don't walk in the counsel of the ungodly, that His Word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And we talked about how a lot of the Internet is filled with misinformation, ungodly advice coming from people. We don't know where they came from. What kind of a spirit's even moving through them? The spirit moves through people. We don't know where it, people don't take time to, uh, to even discern or, or think about where or judge where that spirit's coming from. And I mean, people are thinking, why can't I make, read the Bible and the internet? Why can't I? I didn't say you couldn't. I just said this whenever you begin to believe. What you believe, that's what you mix into a concoction. The Bible says you don't mix the Word of God with, with speculation, conjecture. You, don't, you mix the Word of God with faith if you want it to work to its fullest power for you. When you're mixing the Word of God with things that you're not aware of, that's what I talked about. People just quoting and running and believing and grabbing a hold of hook, line, and sinker. The fisherman in his boots and the boat too, they're just grabbing a hold of all this information about the election, about the justices, and about the vaccine, and, and, and more, more issues. And they're just quoting, and that's what the Bible said. Don't walk in that kind of counsel. The word walk in the Hebrew means don't live there. And yes, Christians aren't rooted and grounded enough as they should be. Maybe they get tired of the Bible. Maybe, it's, like I said, it's just easier to go to the Internet and mix it. You must mix the scriptures, the prophecies. Yeah, the prophecies of things to come with your faith. You must realize the day in which we're living, things have to happen for what God has planned to come forth. In Luke 24, remember whenever the two disciples didn't even know who Jesus was, they were complaining about the fact that he was supposed to be the Messiah and what happened, they killed him. And he was thinking, I'm not dead, I'm here talking to you, but you don't know who I am. And so he told them, oh fools, slow of heart to believe. Didn't I tell you that what happened to me was supposed to happen? But you didn't hear that part. See, a lot of people block out the prophecies that are to come where wicked gets more wicked but righteous gets more righteous you know where the sheep and the goat nations are separated where everything evil is brought to the surface you know where the real sons and daughters of God are made manifest they're going to shine and rise to the top that's happening right now but to, to grab a hold of that and to believe that is where your peace comes from but to get some of the stuff that I heard back already in just a few short days, what do you mean I can't mix it with this? You can do anything you want to do. You're free to do that. But for my partners and for my friends, I want to see you mix the Word of God with your faith. I want to see you hear the information the Word of God has to tell you about the end times, about this time, about this president, about these Supreme Court justices, and yes, about the vaccine too. Fear nothing. Fear no one. The Bible says, In whom shall I be afraid? For thou art my shield and my strength. In you will I put my trust. I have full confidence that God is going to lead you, that the Holy Spirit is going to reveal to you where to put that vote, to what Supreme Court justice to back up and support, and by all means the vaccine to take it, to not take it, but to begin to just listen to everything and anything whenever you haven't prayed, you haven't sought godly advice from some people that God has put into your life, go to them, ask them for counsel. That shows humility, it shows a teachable spirit. Because God doesn't want anyone to perish. He doesn't want anyone to get into deception. And the beginning of deception is to think that you can't be. Now listen to me, this is such a critical moment in this time that we're in. I believe it's a time for each one of you to gain a credible influence 
with your family, with friends, with people at work, by not being afraid, by having a resolute heart, have coming to a decision, not because you picked it up on a scavenger hunt, with all of the talking heads coming through the internet, or on the news channels, or on the shows. Everybody has their opinion. Everybody has throwing in what they think. And the moment they have some credentials, and they, they just bring these talking heads on and just to back up their cause. Well, the believer's on another mission with another cause. And that is we want to get God's man in that Oval Office for this season, for this time. We want righteous judgment on the Supreme Court panel that believes in the Judeo-Christian principles and stands for the written word of God and the moral, the moral fiber of the word of God. And yes, we want to get truth about vaccination, about what is being put on the market, what's being put into our body, but not with any fear. And some will have the conviction to take it. Some will have the conviction not to take it. And that's the freedom. But let it be based upon, I prayed, I sought the Lord. I listened to some godly advice and godly influence. And that's where I derived my conviction, my decision to put the check here and the check here, to say yes or to say no. This will be only a couple of the many decisions that will be facing us in the days ahead. Where to worship and where to live and where to work and, and who to marry. What ministry to hook up with. What mission field to go into. What harvest fields do we enter. Oh, there's so many. There's so many decisions lying ahead. Please don't let your life just be controlled by circumstance, by unknown faces that come from an unknown place that has a spirit moving through them that you don't know. That's why God raises people up and makes their name great. God told Joshua, I made Moses' name great, and I'm gonna make your name great, not to be famous, but to be trusted with information from heaven. That's what Pastor Billy Burke wants for you. Oh, I tell you, I read, the, I see the internet, I see a lot of these people quoting, I'm so thankful for the foundation of the Word of God. I'm so thankful for having people in my life that I trust the Spirit of the Lord in them. Paul said in Galatians, I have confidence of the Lord in you. That's what he said. I have confidence of the Lord in you. So yes, I am a proponent of mixing God's Word with faith and not with everything else. Everything else makes the Word of God watered down and weak. But when you mix it with faith, I heard this. It's confirmed through Him. It's confirmed through her. I prayed about it. And then I attached my faith to it. There's a power that's released that sets you free from fear and intimidation. From, from, from being stuck into a place of neutral and it gives you something moving on the inside of you that when you share it it's not just passing along something that I've seen here's a video that I watched and there's no conviction to it and you don't know what you're passing on no stay away from that don't be an instrument in the hands of the enemy passing on his strategies pass on something to people that has life, that's been tested, that came from heaven through a man of God, a woman of God, something you prayed about, something you had taken into yourself. You've experienced the peace of it. You've experienced the freedom of it. And then you can say, as I said the other day, Joshua of old, as for me and my house. Just when you read that scripture, you get the feeling of Joshua having such confidence, such resolution, and such peace. Because he worked through it. He prayed about it. Contemplated. Sought the Lord. And God sunk as he will you. Settle truth in your heart. Avoid the mixture unless it's just the written word and your faith 
the faith of others that you know and that you trust. And I believe you'll experience the same freedom as a lot of these other people have. You will, I know you will. That's your word for today. Harvest of Miracles coming up in just a few short days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Worship, praise, prayer, ministry. It's going to be a few great nights for you to be in the presence. I hope you really plan to be with me. Remember Mark 10, 27, with God, all things are possible. Come on, call the number on the screen. Get that prayer. Come on, sow the seed. Help me. Do we ever need some help in this hour? Oh, this is getting so... Well, you know, help me. Please help me get this word out to the nations. God bless you. We'll see you soon. See you this weekend in the harvest of miracles. God bless you.